Huge thanks to Abacus.ai for sponsoring Whole Mars this month. Abacus AI is a complete cloud platform where you can train all kinds of models, bring in your data. They make it so easy. Go check them out at Abacus.ai. You can sign up for free and give it a try. With all the excitement about AI, I think every company is going to be wanting to train their own models using their own data, and Abacus AI can help you do that. Hey, what is up, everybody? Happy Friday. We've got some really exciting news today. Mercedes-Benz is now adopting NACS, the latest domino to fall. It's so great that we're going to have every automaker, pretty much all of them, I think there's a couple left, using the NACS port that Tesla pioneered, and that every EV you buy will just be able to use the superchargers, take road trips. I mean, this is huge for EV adoption in the US. But even more exciting, we've got some new referral rewards. And with these new referral rewards, if you order a Tesla with my link, which is on the screen right now, you'll get three free months of full self-driving. And what's more, if you refer somebody using your link, if you have a Tesla already, you'll get credits that you can redeem for three free months of full self-driving too. So this is super exciting. The era of FSD free trials has begun and I really encourage you all to try it out. Now, if you don't want full self-driving or you already have full self-driving, you can exchange these credits for something else. Um, as a referrer, you can get acceleration boost, for example, but I really encourage everyone, definitely give the full self-driving a try if you haven't yet. So I'm just gonna give a brief overview of what it is here, just so people know, because I think this is a complete game changer to have this kind of AI in your car and everybody is going to want a car with this functionality. If you don't have one yet, it's time to order a Tesla online and get this in your car because it's just such an added safety benefit to have the car understand what's going on around you. So again, let's just give a brief demonstration of how it works. Take me to the coffee cartel. So you just say where you want to go and it's now put in the destination. And now all I have to do is put the car into gear. Just below drive, there's another gear, self-drive, and we're off. So first of all, what is full self-driving not? Full self-driving is not a system where you can not pay attention, sleep, uh, sit in the back seat. That's not what it is. That's what they're working towards eventually. But today, it often still needs you to take over. You have to pay attention all the time and be ready to grab the wheel to take over if it makes any mistakes. It's really a system here that's meant to assist you as they perfect the system, as they test it in the real world and make sure that it always does the right thing even if all this crazy stuff happens in the real world. And as it gets better and better, they're gonna give you all the software updates for free. So if you buy full self-driving with your Tesla, then you'll not only get the current software, but you'll get all the updates in the future as it becomes more and more automated. You'll just get all of that for free. Okay, so now we have to make a right turn. But there are some pedestrians here, so it's wait, waiting for them cautiously. There were some pedestrians behind me. And now it made the right turn. So a lot of people don't realize that this software today can already do entire drives without you touching anything. A lot of people find it hard to believe. It's not gonna work the same in every area, but it's getting so good that if you order this and by the time you get it, I think you're just gonna be blown away with what the capabilities are. It does pretty much all of my driving now, 95% of my miles traveled, and often I don't have to touch anything at all. It can just do the drive. So this is incredibly powerful. If you look at what's on the screen, you can see the cars drawing, everything happening around it. It's drawing the other cars. It's drawing the stop sign here that it needs to stop for. It's drawing the roads. You can see the car actually has an understanding of what's happening around it. And this is all happening with AI and computer vision. The car just looks around with its cameras and it's able to see what's happening around it. So even when you're driving manually, you're gonna have this 
vision system in your car protecting you. For example, if you're changing lanes and you don't realize that someone's coming up and they're about to hit you, it'll automatically just move the steering wheel away, even when you're driving manually. And if, for example, you are about to hit somebody, it'll stop you. But not just if there's a car right in front of you, like most automatic emergency braking systems that have been there since the 80s. This is a super smart AI-powered automatic emergency braking system where if somebody's actually cutting into your lane from the other lane, it can predict that and spot that. If there's cross traffic, someone coming in the other direction, it can predict that and stop that. Even if you're reversing and you're about to hit something, it can detect that too. So having this capability in your car is something everybody's gonna want. You're not gonna wanna buy a car that makes it as easy as it has always been to crash and get into an accident, uh, destroy your car, uh, possibly hurt yourself. I mean, I think it's really gonna be considered archaic that this was something that people had to deal with and experience in the past. These constant car crashes that are just a part of our daily life. And the goal of the team here is really to build something where, okay, check out the construction here. You got these cones. It's showing the people, it's showing the cones and it's navigating through, um, you know, just like normal. But as I was saying, the goal of the team is really to build a car that's impossible to crash. They wanna make it so even if you're driving manually, you, you could fall asleep at the wheel while flooring the accelerator and you still wouldn't crash. The car would be smart enough to understand the obstacles around it and make sure you're not crashing. Now, can you 100% trust the system today? No, you have to watch, you have to pay attention, but they're really working towards completely perfecting it. Okay, you can see now it's slowing because it saw this cyclist. It thought they might have pulled out in front of me. So it slowed down and waited. Once it saw that they were not pulling out in front of me, it continued. So you can see how potentially if I missed that cyclist or I missed some other obstacle, some pedestrian walking into the road, the car is this second set of eyes that can help me. So, you know, you have your family in your car, you love them. Having this kind of AI capability in the car is a must have. And it's really affordable. You can get a Tesla car, you know, in some of these states with some of these incentives, you can get one under $30,000 now. And it's no surprise that you see so many Teslas in this area with how affordable they are. And the best part is, every single Tesla has the hardware needed to run this full self-driving beta. So even if you don't wanna buy the full self-driving, you just buy the base model of the car, it still has all the hardware needed. And you can get that free trial and run it and see how you like it. And if it works well in your area, then you can use it. And if it doesn't work well, then maybe you wanna come back and check it out in a few months again to see how it performs. But this is pretty much what you're gonna to get to experience. You have to keep your hand on the wheel and your eyes on the road, but it'll do everything for you. And honestly, it's just a huge relief to have that mental fatigue off, to not have to worry about keeping up and stop and go traffic, which way you have to go, following the directions. It does all of that for you. And you just sit there and enjoy. I mean, I just see so much online that's just so wrong. A lot of people really don't understand this technology. And there's so many misconceptions, so much fear. But the reality is you're completely in control. If I wanna take control of the car, all I have to do is just take the wheel. Now I'm driving the car. I can do whatever I wanna do and then just hand back control to the AI. Simple as that. So you don't really have to worry. You're always here, you're always in the driver's seat, you're always in control and you're driving the car. The software is just assisting you as it trains to become so perfect that it can drive the car without you. So this is really exciting. I think 
even though Tesla's opening up the supercharger network, what they have here with FSD is a moat that's 10 times bigger. Because you see all these Teslas, there's a Tesla right there, there's another Tesla over there. They're all gathering data, they're all trying these roads, sending data back to Tesla to help improve the system. So the difference between a shitty self-driving system and a good self-driving system is going to be massive. There's three more Teslas right there. And they're all going to be running this software. It's not going to be like iOS and Android where they're mostly the same thing. A good self-driving system will allow you to ar arrive at your destination relaxed and comfortable and happy. And a bad self-driving system will make you literally shit your pants while you're driving there. So the differences between, for example, what Ford Blue Cruise can do, only allowing self-driving on limited access highways that are pre-mapped, versus this, you can just go anywhere in North America. I could say, hey, drive me to New York, and it'll take me the entire way. I mean, I may need to correct a few mistakes, uh, quite likely, but it can try and take me the whole way. And as the softer up updates get better and better, I'm pretty certain that before the end of the, this year, it'll be able to drive across the country without any takeover required. So we're about two minutes away from our destination now. We're gonna make a left turn in half a mile, and there we are. So you can see that I basically didn't need to give any input on the drive. A lot of people don't realize this, that the software is already capable of doing entire drives, real drives that you do in your day-to-day -day life without any input required. And, you know, I'm not promising that it's gonna work perfectly for every person. It can be very different depending on where you live. You know, I see a lot of people on Twitter reporting good experiences or bad experiences depending on different circumstances, when they drive, where they drive. So your mileage may vary. But that's why the full trial, uh, free trial is so great. Because you can use my link and order a Tesla, get three free months of full self-driving and find out if it really works in your area. I think a lot of people are gonna find that it actually works just as well as you're seeing in this video on their car. Any Tesla can do this. This isn't anything special about this car. It's just an ordinary stock Tesla from 2021. The 2023 models are even better. All right, so we're making a left turn here. We got some cyclists and there's our destination up ahead, 400 feet. Okay, full NHTSA approved stop. And here we are, that's our destination. So, Go order a Tesla. You've got to try out this AI capability in your car. Anyone who orders gets three full, uh, three free months of full self-driving. Go place your order, use my link, and let me know what you think. Because we need more people using this all across the country, providing data to help make the system better and better. Thanks for watching.